Hi guys! So I am in a different location. I'm sitting with a fire behind me. I am actually in my basement right now. So I'm going to be baking something for you guys. And you're probably like, how are you going to bake while you're sitting on the floor? Well, I already made it, but I'm going to be telling you how I did it. And I filmed it so you guys can see how it all went down. It was pretty fun. So I made a peppermint bark kind of cookie for you guys. Really, really fun. A little bit more work than a usual cookie or whatever, but totally worth it. Delicious, yummy, amazing. So, um, the only thing you're really going to need that's a little bit weird is dark chocolate, white chocolate, and some candy canes. And those are things that usually you will want to have around the house around the Christmas time because of all the different cook Christmas cookies and stuff. So, I don't know about you guys, but I bake a lot during the Christmas season, so... I usually have that sort of thing on hand. I'm going to link the recipe down below so you guys can check it out. So I'm just going to start telling you guys how I did it. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do, um, or at least the first thing I did, is I chopped up all of my dark chocolate and my candy canes. And those take a little bit of time and it's a little bit messy. Um, but once you get it done, you have it out of the way and you don't even have to worry about it anymore. Once you have your dark chocolate and your candy canes all cut up and done, um, what you're going to want to do next is start making the dough or the base for your cookie. And pretty much you're just making like one giant cookie. Um, so I had flour and salt in a bowl that I just mixed together really quick and put that aside. Once you have your flour and salt all mixed together and put aside, you're going to want to start with your butter and you're going to want to mix it until it's nice and creamy. Once you have your butter all creamy and nice, that takes about three minutes I'd say, um, you're going to want to add your white sugar or you can use brown sugar but I use white sugar because um, that's what the recipe called for. And you're going to want to add that gradually again just um, using an electric mixer or you could use like a stand mixer as well uh, and just makes, making that nice and fluffy and light and so then you can start adding your other wet ingredients. Okay, so after that I added my vanilla, my one egg yolk, and I think that's it for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And then mix that again all together, and you really don't want to overmix it because then your dough will be too elasticy and too chewy. So once you have all your wet ingredients mixed together, you want to gradually add your flour little bits at a time and just mix it as you go, scraping down the sides of the spatula or whatever you need until you get a nice dough. And this dough, for me at least, it was a little bit thicker. Also, it was a little bit yellow because from the egg yolk, but it was awesome. I tasted a little bit and it tastes delicious. So yeah. Next that you have your dough all done, you're going to want to take your, I believe it's a 9 or 18 by 8 or something baking pan and make sure it's metal. Um, I'll put the exact measurement of it right here. Once you have that, you can just put a piece of parchment paper on that to overlap so it's easier to remove everything when it's all done. You're going to want to take your dough and put it in by the tablespoon. So just kind of, I just sort of took a spoon and just kind of dolloped it in and then smoothed it out with your fingers into one single kind of layer. And then after you do that, you're going to want to take a fork and just kind of poke holes in it so that the steam will rise up and it won't get air bubbles or anything so that it'll be all uniform. Bake that for 30 minutes about um, in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. Um, again, for 30 minutes about, and just approximate it, don't like rely on it, like the time too much, um, but until it's golden brown and the edges are just starting to pull away from the parchment paper, and as soon as you take it out of the oven, put it on a nice heat resistant surface, like your oven top or a oven mitt or something, and you want to take all that dark chocolate that you chopped up and put it right on top so that it will start to melt, and you want to let that sit for three minutes. So once you let it sit for about three minutes, you're going to want to take an offset spatula, or if you don't have one, you can just use a knife. Uh, but the nice thing about the offset spatula is that you can't, it has like a curve in it, so you can really get into the corners and like right in the, the tray. And you're going to want to just 
spread the chocolate all over and as soon as you get the chocolate spread you're going to want to put the candy canes on top and put those all evenly. Then I took some melted white chocolate. Uh, I used about two ounces of melted white chocolate and just did a nice simple um, zigzag formation over the whole cookie um, over top of the candy canes and the chocolate and um, I used just a fork and it was simple and easy and it looks really good. And then you're going to want to let that sit until it hardens and just gets nice and kind of perfectly hard so that you can take it out of the baking sheet and cut it and you don't cut it into uniform sizes. The cool thing about this is that you really want it to look rustic so just cut it in really odd shapes and sizes or whatever. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and please try it. It tastes delicious. If you like peppermint bark, then you'll absolutely love this cookie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you try it because I think that would be really cool. Um, check out my Twitter, my blog, and everything else down below. And I just did a photo shoot with my sister, and I want you guys to check out the pictures. They're awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'll also link that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!